Hi everybody. Today I would love to talk about success. It's interesting, yesterday during a coaching session, I was asked, how do you define success, Marco? And I have to say that this is an, a, a notion which evolved in tremendously over the last 10, 20 years. Uh, 20 years ago for me, being, a success, being successful was being a big businessman and having companies and so on. And, and yeah, I did all that. Did I feel successful for that? I would say rather not. That's maybe maybe even if I would have, then I would not do this uh, video today. <laughs> so success in our society is really determined as or, or defined as, as as something very external, very very something you achieve and then you have you have success. It's something you strive for. It's something you 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 do. You do everything to make it happen. Um, it's linked to money. It's linked to how much, how much, um, how how big your house is, or your car, or whatever, or, or, or boat. This weekend, I binge watched uh, the Netflix series Last Dance from uh, with with Michael Jordan, and so Michael Jordan, the most successful basketball player of all times won three ti two times three titles, like six titles uh, together. And what I was struck by is at the end of the series, he is so torn and so bitter because he didn't get the opportunity to go for a seventh one. He didn't get the opportunity. He felt that he could have done more. And that made me think, think really think, because at the end, if the, the most successful sports guy in this world ever, even after doing whatever he has done, he is not successful. I think the way how we define, we define success is maybe, not, uh, is maybe not fulfilling success for us. And so it made me think. And so I like to play with words. And I looked at, at doing successful never worked. It is to be successful. You have to be successful. Now, in our society, we do and then we become. We, 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 we play, we play uh, golf, uh, for that matter, and we become a huge golf player. And then we are successful, like Tiger Woods, for example. But even Tiger Woods, when we look at how he how he strived and, 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 and how he became the biggest one and then with all the scandals he created himself, he had to go very deep inside of himself to become, to know and to know himself and to become who he is and then become successful again at his game, which he, which he loved. And actually that's a, good, that's a good metaphor to go to where I think success is. Success lies always inside of us. Success lies always something we have inside, we have to find our own success, our own belief in ourselves, our own calm, overcoming our own limitations, fears. Uh, because what is success other than for Michael Jordan, the fear of losing a game is let's strive to win it. Well, what about getting rid of the fear? What about letting go of that fear? And just be successful for yourself and then derive from this be successful whatever you have to do and then it doesn't matter what you do and that's why we don't read in the news of so many people like Michael Jordan who did and became uh, or not uh, we don't read about people who, who are successful so much and and then do but then, then again, we read. We read about Mother Teresa. We read about incredible people who, who are devoting their lives to, to, to a cause or who go, go, went through this transformation from do to be for, to be to do. And these are then uh, big businessmen or, or, or people who just went, went through this transformation and understood that with all that they achieved, with all what they did in their life, the real success lies in them in themselves and the rest is just noise. On that note, I wish you an extraordinary day. Thank you so much.